Good morning. Thank you for coming to us uh, from Truck uh, Transwest Truck Trailer RV in Fountain, Colorado. Today we're going to talk about the 2023 Newmar London Air 4521, stock number 5N220606 if you'd like to tune in. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the outside first. Uh, let's go ahead and open each compartment and I'll kind of describe what everything is. On your gas, on your fuel, you actually have uh, fuel fill on both sides. Benefit to that is it's going to save you some time when filling. On this tray out here, with that gas tank, you've got a 150 gallon diesel tank. Coming to the outside tray here, you've got your refrigerator freezer on the tray. You can control them at different temperatures if you'd like. It's a nice option to have. There's also some additional power controls up on top here with 110 volt and also an accessory outlet. An additional shelf for Maybe an outside grill or something. This option in bay tray. Nice thing about these trays is they'll hold a thousand pounds. So you can put a ton of cargo on there, bring it to you rather than climbing in. And sometimes you can option it without the tray. So it increases your storage ab ability so you can put like stand up paddleboard, a couple different chairs and different things you might need for outdoors. It's got a couple extra tiles there just in case you crack a tile. You don't have to worry about rematching the tile. You can actually fix it. You got an air hose filling up that stand up paddleboard. They are lighted. It is also uh, heated on the inside there. This is your outside television. You can actually bring it out and angle it any which way you want with the Samsung soundbar. You have power points alongside here. You actually have your Bose sound bar, not the uh, Samsung. You have your Bose controls here. Already been there. Another optioned in tray. You also have your vacuum equipment. You also have your road vac uh, system where you remo remove your canister or your vacuum bags to change those out. Just in the case that you have a failure for a slide operation, you actually have backup coils so you can actually bring it back in. There's three different panels inside here. These are for your Girard awnings. Right up above, you've got the two-piece Gerard awnings, two individual. They both have their lights on. And if you want to bring them in from outside, just press the inward arrow. They're both individual, so you can stop them at which, where, wherever you want. If there's a tree out there in a campground that you don't want to hit, but you want to still have your awning out, you can actually bring that out to the length that you want. You also have a radio control, like a remote control, so you can control those individually. If you notice here, when the awnings go in, you've got the window awnings. These are all power window awnings, so you don't have to get out there with a crank to bring them down from previous years. Nice feature. You also have your over the door awning. I'm gonna leave that out. Uh, so when we get inside, we can bring that in. 
Nice how flush that is up on top. You have your pegboard over here. You can actually store uh, additional fluids and tools that you might need. But on the other side of that pegboard is your 100 gallon fresh water tank. I'm sorry, 105. Diesel exhaust fluid, it's a 13 gallon reservoir. Sometimes when you go to different like uh, gas stations or truck stops, they'll have diesel exhaust fluid on the side where you can actually fill it with a uh, pump rather than each individual container. Makes it easy. There's also a fill on the other side as well. So if you pull in and you realize, gosh, I need def, you can fill it up from either side. Here's your chassis batteries. You also have some battery disconnects. You have your air dryer system and also your fuel water separator. Nice and easy to get to. Access to your engine compartment is a 15 liter diesel Cummins engine, 605 horsepower with 1,950 foot pounds of torque. Also, it allows you a 20,000 pound towing capacity. Inside here, you've got a couple different things that you can actually service. Anything that's topped with yellow is your responsibility as a consumer. If you're mechanically inclined to do so, you can check all the other fluids and everything that aren't in the yellow. Here's your engine dipstick, here's your engine fill. This is your glycol reservoir for the Oasis hot water system. This is your air filter for your engine. They recommend that you service that or change that once a year. Transmission dipstick. Everything's nice and easy to get to. If you come down below here, you have your trailer system. Your trailer towing, you have your seven pin and you also have the capabilities doing the air brakes. Nice feature with that tow is you also have a backup camera with audio. So as you're backing up and someone is down here setting up the tow bar, you can actually say, hey, come on back, come on back just another inch, you're good. And the person in the, in the cockpit will hear you. You've got a side mounted radiator. Benefit of that is it allows you more room inside the cabin of the, of the bath and a half so that you actually have more living area. If the radiator was up in the back, then they'd, it would take away some of that storage space. Here's your other diesel exhaust fuel fill up. It'll actually go over to the other side where the reservoir is to fill it up. This is a storage compartment. It's pretty good and spacious in there. It's close enough to your wet bay that you can actually keep your sewage hoses in there if you want. Um, you can also put chains in there if you need. Here's the wet bay. Nice thing about these, this side is they've actually got the way the doors are, the bay doors are set up, they come in and they set, they set down so they don't come in line with the slides. In your bay compartment, it's all aluminum or stainless steel. And it's also got the, all the etching of all the instructions etched into the stainless steel so it's not gonna peel. And also it's always gonna be readable. On your water coil, that's your fresh water coil, the white one, that you pull it out by, by hand and it also has a electric button to bring it back in. Take a look here. Kind of nice setup with that. You do have an outside hot water and cold, cold water shower. If you wanted to hose off outside, you could. Also, it's designed to spray down inside the wet bay in case you wanted to wash things down. Uh, it's got the whole, that's the water filter for the whole house filtration system. 
couple things down here. You actually have your black and your gray water tanks, uh, your valves. Everything's inside, and it's all in a heated bay. Uh, this is a macerator. Nice thing about that, that Thetford macerator is you also have the tilt mode on the, uh, on the gauge out here so that if you wanted to use gravity to, to lift up one side of the coach so it forces the fluids to come down into the system, if you had to pump uphill, that Thetford macerator will actually pull it uphill for you so you don't have to have a separate system. If you wanted to fill up your, you've got your uh, gray tank rinse and you also have a black water tank rinse. Uh, these are going to be so you can actually wash down your sensors when you're cleaning your sewage system. Obviously sewage systems are pretty dirty, so uh, they've got place for your paper towels out here and lots of additional storage back here so you can actually put uh, boxes of gloves if you needed to get in here. It is lighted underneath, so when, if you have to be out here at night, you've got lighting on the inside, you've got lighting on the outside, you've got low point drains, really easy and accessible. One of the things that's new for 2023 is the stainless steel exhaust tips. You're gonna see those all the way around from, you, that's your Oasis exhaust system. You also have a generator exhaust tip and you also have it on your diesel exhaust tip is all chrome. This is your power reel. It is a 50 amp power supply and it's on a 50 foot power cord. So you pull it out, it's electric reel is right here. This is your control. So if you wanted to pull it in, you actually press this and it starts doing it for you. This little guy right here is gonna allow you to close that door so you don't have to have your power cord accessible while, or you don't have to have the door open while you're camping. Here's a cable plug-in. You also have your uh, automatic uh, power separator so it determines whether it's running off of generator or if it's running off of shore power. That's how the system knows. It is lighted inside as well. Here's your Oasis Chinook hot water system. It's diesel and also the glycol fires up like a furnace. And you have a little window right here. And through that window, when that Chinook uh, hot water system is on, you can actually see the flame burning. And that's usually when you know everything's working the way it's supposed to. If you don't see that flame working, then you can actually look at these different uh, problem solution it'll actually show different lights if it's green it's good if it's red it's not helps you troubleshoot things all right this is the other side of this of this uh, bay that did not have the tray so if you need to pull something out you can say you've got more room on this side to pull things out you can nice and accessible huge space down there Nice thing about these optioned in trays, they open on both sides and they extend out on both sides. And did I mention there's a thousand pound weight support on each one? Very, very heavy duty. And it latches in place. This one was optioned in with eight AGM batteries. They're on a slide tray, so you can bring them out if you need to service them, clean them. One thing I forgot to mention is you do have a 3000 watt inverter. It's actually up inside the frame in the front. So if you need to get to it, you can actually climb into that little storage compartment and, and adjust things as you, as you need. Coming up to the front here, we have a electrical panel. They've actually included a squeegee you can clean your windows it is extending arm so if you need to get up you can put it up to your windows whatever you need also inside this compartment is your generator slide now i've got the generator slide right here it is a 12,500 watt generator. As you notice right here, 
another stainless steel exhaust tip for your generator. Couple new features for 2023 are the six uh, blind spot monitors and lane detection. So when you're leaving the lane, it actually has a uh, alert and also a uh, haptic system in your seat. Inside here, you have your air horn. If you wanna light somebody up, that'll get their attention. Notice there's a lot of room in here to, to get in and, and move around. You got your generator up in the front here. You have your generator fuel filter. You also have your windshield washer fluid. You have a hot water system down here so you can actually attach a hose, hose off things as you need. You also have an air recess so you connect that air hose to it and you can use it from here. New style for 2023 is the Silver Star headlights. They are a high and a low beam. Increased visibility on the, on the highway is a big deal. On these mirrors, they have a few different systems in them. You have a full surround camera. You also have, when you put your left blinker on, it'll show your left view. If you show your right blinker, it shows your right view. You also have this little, if you come around this side here, this little guy right here is your blind spot monitor. So this is a blind spot sensor. It's gonna measure whether there's somebody in there or not. And then when you put your blinker on, that light stays on in your mirror until you turn it off. When you adjust your mirrors, the top mirror is adjustable, the bottom one is not, um, But as far as the power goes. But you can actually adjust your view with your camera by pushing on this bottom camera. Notice how big that windshield is. That little square up in the front is the mobile eye. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give you uh, collision mitigation. Uh, it's gonna basically, get, it's gonna also gonna take care of any of your laser guided cruise control as well. It measures the distance between your vehicle and the person in front of you. And there's a little alarm that will beep. If you get used to it, you'll understand what that beep is. Uh, it's not something you can turn off. So uh, if someone pulls in front of you, it'll say, hey, if you're not paying attention to that person pulling in front of you, and it'll beep, 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 beep. But when you have your laser guided cruise control, as soon as that person gets out of your way, it picks up to a normal speed. On this side here, you have your hydraulic system. Nice and accessible for the technicians. And let's go inside, let's take a look. Nice thing about Newmar uh, is when you get to the Ventana and above, you actually get the uh, code for the door. You have a doorbell. You also can lock all the doors from the inside. Before we climb inside, if you will, take a look right around the side of this front panel here where the handle is. There's a battery disconnect switch and also a uh, bay door unlock lock. Sometimes when you're out there getting ready to plug in your coach, uh, you get out there and realize your bay doors are locked. This is what you have to do to come in and unlock it. It's very simple. Uh, come along with me. We're gonna walk in, take a look at the coach from the inside. Now I have all the privacy shades down because it really invites you into your coach saying, this is my coach. This is a beautiful coach. Also, if you bring in friends or family, they walk in, they get the wow factor. But let's go ahead and walk all the way to the back. We're gonna start in the back. Nice and spacious. This is gonna be a bath and a half. Nice thing about the bath and a half is you have a bathroom for guests and you also have your bathroom for yourself or you separate who owns each bathroom. Inside your compartments, you, actually, you have shoe storage. It's lighted. Lots of panels in here. Lots of shoe storage. Everybody needs their shoes. My wife likes to have her shoes. 
I think everybody should have them. And it's carpeted in there as well, so if you have things, you don't they're not gonna move around. Staying back over here, we actually have a regress door. On this regress door, there's a tab on the door. It has an emergency safety ladder. If you need to climb out on an emergency, you can. But a lot of people use this door for different reasons than emergencies. When you're stalking your coach, getting ready to go on a trip, nice to be able to have somebody down there passing in equipment to the person inside the coach so you don't have to walk up and down the steps each time you want to put something inside your coach. Inside, you also have uh, privacy shades. So you have a night shade and you also have the uh, day shade. So you can put those in. You also open this up and get a vent for the bathroom if you have it steamed up. The Shower Miser hot water system is really unique to Numar. Nice thing about that is you set the temperature where you want it to be and it'll circulate until it comes to proper temperature. I'm going to climb in here just so you can see how much room you have. I'm six feet tall. Now, that's going to give me an additional three or four inches above my head. You also have a safety handle on the inside. Uh, not saying that you'd be showering while you're driving down the road, but you never know. Uh, this little light will pop on when you get to the proper temperature. For ladies or gentlemen, you've got a seat for the shower. Talk about comfort. You also have a place for your foot if you need to shave. It kind of gives you that ab ability to establish balance. You also have a very big shower area. This one's the permanent mounted shower head. Then you also have this one you can actually handle around and down and whatever you need. Place for your soap. Now, up on here, body wash, conditioner, shampoo reservoirs up on the wall and out of the way. A couple little towel hooks in there. A lot of times people put those uh, squeegee towels, wipe down the windows so you don't have water spots. I like that unique drain system. Adds a lot of style. On this shower door, towel hangers. Nice. Come back around this side. Medicine cabinets. Both sides have a medicine cabinet. Inside, you'll notice that you have a 110 outlet. So if you need to charge any shaving tools or anything like that, you can do that. Vanity mirror. Nice thing for makeup. It's nice to have a bright LED lights. This room would be really nice for it. Two individual sinks, Jack and Jill. Over here is the light panel. You can control the lighting. And also, if you notice, on both sides of the countertop, you have a power plug. Lots of storage. These drawers go all the way to the back of the drawer. Very deep, lots of storage. Corian countertops. You also have heat vents at the bottom of the sink, so when you're in here taking a shower, you got heat vent in there. You've also got heated floors, so you can keep you can step out onto the, the floor and it's nice and warm if you have it turned on. I'd uh, probably recommend a rug down here for stepping in and out of the shower because it is tile, just to prevent from slipping. Now this guy right here, these are your Splendid, Splendid stackable washer and dryer, and you've got a huge storage drawer underneath. One thing we didn't point out, 
towel hanger up here as well. Come on into the bedroom. You have a private bedroom. You have a king size bed. You also have your controls for your shades right here. So you can actually turn them on or you can open them up. I'm turning them down. These are gonna be your privacy shades. Up above the, van, the bedroom area here, you've got plug-ins for satellite TV. You also have Silverleaf electrical panel. It'll tell you pretty much everything that you need to know about the coach. You can adjust different sections, living room, kitchen, bathroom, and bedroom. You can turn on the Oasis system from here. You can also set up your generator to have automatic uh, gener generator start. Uh, you also control the lights throughout the coach. You also have control the, the shades and the TV lift from inside. You can turn on the floor heat. You can turn on the engine block heater. Uh, here is the TV. It is actually adjustable. So you can bring it out, set it down. Lots of storage. It does have soft clothes. Kind of like a dresser. Now you notice on this slide you have additional tiles and you have a flush mount on the floor. That's called the more floor through Numar, giving you additional floor space. I'm gonna pop up in the bed here. If you look under the bed, you've got two additional chairs. You also have two additional leaves for the table. With the Eurobooth, Eurobooth dinette, you can pull out, this, pull out the end, and I'll show you how to do that. And then you put the two leaves in there, and you actually can sit four people at that table. It's also supported, so you don't have to hold it up. On both end tables of the bed, you have power support, and you also have USB plug-ins. Now, on the bed here, Got a stylish set of pillows. You also have additional ports here so you can bring down, say you wanted to have like a, uh, a CPAP machine or something, you can bring those down here and leave the machine up above. Take a look up above, you have power cords in there, or power cables. 110 outlets on both sides. Now the reason why I'm laying down on the bed is because down here, you can turn off the lights from the bedroom. So if you get in bed and you realize, gosh, I forgot to turn off all the lights, you can actually press this right here and go through all the lighting systems, all the panels. You can turn on your water heater from here. You can turn on your generator from here. Anything that you need is accessible from right here. You have additional storage up above here. Got to be careful when you open these doors. There's an angle here. They don't open together, so you have to open one at a time to get in there. Up above on the ceilings and the cabinetry and also on all the slides, you have padded ceiling. Adds style and comfort. On this ceiling mounted system, this is where your air conditioning air moves through, so you don't hear the power of the air conditioning motors themselves. The air conditioning motors are above the solid part of the roof, which gives Numar one of the quietest living areas. This is an emergency exit window. If you needed to get out, you could. Come on out to the kitchen. I'm gonna put this little guy in. This is going to be the window awning. You can see that going up. 
If there's too much light coming through the bedroom, you can adjust that from here. It's always nice to have a big pantry. You got place for cutting boards, you got place for frying pans, uh, you've got place, you can even put uh, plates in there if you want, push in and pull out, and it goes all the way to the end. And that's pretty deep. That's the whole length of my arm. It goes all the way to the back of the, to the pantry. If you take a look inside there, it is lighted. The refrigerator is a whirlpool. It does have the ice maker and a separate inverter for the uh, ice machine. Nice deep freezer. It does also have a lock, so when you're going down the highway, you can lock your doors in and so they don't open when you're going down the highway. It does have a filter for your ice and your water. That, will, that, is, a, that is something that you will need to change. I'm not sure exactly when the intervals are on that. Usually it has to do with taste. This is the mid-bathroom. Again, you do have a vanity light in the mirror. And I'm going to open up some of those compartments so you can see how deep they are and the amount of storage. Nice thing about this door right here, it's set up so that when the slides are in, you can open and close the door without having to pull the slides out so you can use everything in the bathroom. Inside this medicine cabinet, you have one inside here, if you want to pop around there. You have a power cord in there, so if you wanted to, to charge cell phone or shaving equipment, it's nice to have that. Sorry about that. You have a nice backsplash, very stylish. It's got the uh, stainless steel brushed. Kind of like what you'll find in a, in a designer kitchen. It's really nice. All right, this is where your electrical panel is. If things aren't working, some, the first thing you want to do is you want to check to see that your electrical switches have, haven't been tripped. These are your breakers. Uh, very simple to turn them on and turn them off. Push them all the way to the off, but make sure that you click it all the way to the left to put it back on or click it all the way to the right on these to make sure that they're on. You shouldn't have them trip breakers very often, but if you have something not working, the first thing you want to do is check right there. These are floor heat one and two. These are going to be your circuit breakers to reset. If you say, say you uh, overrun your electrical and you have to start over, trip the switch at your power cord, you want to adjust your, any of your circuit breakers here, you want to reset your flooring, basically press the button in like that. And then it's also listed alongside here as to what they are. And these are your different fuses for F1 all the way through. There's a couple extra fuses in case you need to replace them so you're not scrambling around looking for fuses for RVs on a Sunday night of a holiday. It just so happens that way. Let's go down below here. You got your Dometic uh, uh, toilet controls. Add water and flush. Lots of storage down there. Place for toilet paper and what have you. Underneath the sink, you've got lighted all the way to the back. Toilet paper holder. You also have a towel rack on the inside. If you take a look up on this wall here, you also have one of those light panels. Come on into the kitchen. Remember when I mentioned outside that we were talking about optioned in all electric? All electric means that your induction stove, your heating system, you can also take your induction stove out and cook outside with it. And the unique thing about induction stoves is your pans have to be magnetic. 
if, if it doesn't adhere to the magnetic ring, say, you're, say your pot is too big or your pot is too small, if it doesn't fit on these rings, it's not going to have a firm connection and it's not going to work. But I'll tell you what, once you use an induction stove, it actually heats water much faster. And being at this altitude, we're about 7,000 feet. Uh, it's nice to be able to heat water fast. It's also designed to be taken out so it's easy to clean. On the other side of these covers, you have cutting boards. You have a spice cabinet. That, these shelves are adjustable in height, and they're also carpeted, so if you do put some different things in there, you can actually keep it from falling around. Whirlpool convection microwave. Convection mi oven cooking is, it's a new science, it, but once you figure it out, it saves you some time, saves you money. It's got all your racks in here. You can bake cookies if you want, saute vegetables. This drawer is going to be for your, for your utilities, like your silverware and stuff like that, but we've also used it for all of the uh, radio control uh, awnings and TVs and the different control panels that you would need. You also have some additional touch-up paint. You also have your crank for your outside water filter. This little guy is a zip drive. Nice thing about the zip drive is it's going to tell you everything about the uh, awning manuals. Plug it into your laptop or your computer and it'll update your information for that. Nice to have knife drawers, silverware, spoons. It's If you look at how deep these are, these are about three or four inches deep. About a foot and a half deep on the slides themselves. But the one on the bottom is the deepest. This one's about five, six inches deep. So if you're looking to buy, front, buy uh, pots and pans or utensils, things that you will need for cooking, it's nice to know that you have some deep storage and it's also long storage. You have a dishwasher. Nice thing about a dishwasher is a lot of people use these for the big pots and pans for storage. You do have to press the button to turn it on and to turn it off. If, you don't, if it's not on, you can't open it. So remember to turn it on. Scrub brushes, squeegees, anything that you would need to clean. It's nice to keep these in the sink compartment just in case they're wet. This is, that whole area is designed for, uh, to handle moisture. You have two sink covers individual stainless steel sinks down below if you look in these compartments you can actually put those covers inside if you want you've got a separate tray for your trash can you got space on the side of them for the covers if you need I especially like the trim on the bottom of the of the drawers there of the cabinets so you can see if there's anything underneath the cabinets it is a kitchen style sink, so you can adjust and spray wherever you need. And then you press the button on the end. That's, end. That's a non-toxic antifreeze that we have in these. Uh, the reason why we put the non-toxic antifreeze is here in Colorado, we have uh, frequent temperature changes. Uh, if you've lived here a while, a lot of people will tell you, wait around five minutes, the weather will change. That's exactly it. Uh, like today, it'll be about 50 degrees, but tomorrow it's going to have wind chill and probably bring it down to 10. But that's one thing we get to deal with living here, but it's a really beautiful place. Storage compartments with drawers. This is your owner's manuals and you have a special case for it. This should tell you all the individual owner man owner's manuals on how to use and operate every appliance in the coach.
All right, let's go around here. Up inside these compartments here, you have very deep storage, carpeted, this cords so you can access and set up satellite radio or TV. You also have some power cords inside there as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to disassemble this couch and I'm gonna pull out the sofa sleeper. It takes a little bit of effort, but anything is possible. And thank you for your patience. Nice thing about individual cushions is you can use them for pillows. This thing comes all the way down. But it's rewarding once you get to it. It's amazing what you'll do when you're tired. Okay. If you take a look over here, come on over. There's a little switch on the side. You've got to push this little lever right here in order to release that from locking in place. So you grab that, see how it did that? Pull it up, pull it up and down. Pull this little foot around. And then you've got the mattress right here. It is a queen size bed. In the master bedroom, it's a king size bed. And then you can move the cushions around for additional comfort. Not very difficult to do, but it is difficult the first time. Got Velcro on the back so it keeps it in place. Now I'm six feet tall. If you take a look how much headroom you've got, as the queen size bed laid out, you've got enough for two tall people. That's a comfortable couch. Now with this one, this is gonna be a jackknife sofa. Nice thing about the jackknife sofa is it's got storage underneath. So you can put pillows or sheets or whatever you might need. But down below here, there's a lever that you have to pull up and then down these little two slits in the seat are so you can bring the seat belt in for each if you need to have two people sitting there the seat belts are actually tucked underneath the seat itself and if you can see that back here take a look you've got the seat belts under there so to move them through you got to get creative Lock it in place. Now with this controller here, you wanna to go to the home button, go to systems, and put the TV down. It's nice to do that when the slides are out. Uh, that way, when you pull the slides in, you're not putting undue stress onto the TV televator. Go to shades and let's get some buttons on. Then it goes to a day shade. Nice change of view.
then you press the day shades again and they all come up. Notice the outside window awnings. These are still up, but the nice thing is it keeps a lot of the sun from glaring in. I particularly like the way the, the wall sconces are, the style. All right, let's come up to the front. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgot to talk about the table here. This is the Euro dinette. And with this, this is where you put the additional slides. And then, so you can put two of them here. Underneath here, you actually have a trigger to open the drawers. Right underneath the middle of the stitch line, there's a trigger there. Okay, let's go up to the front. Inside this compartment here, this is going to give you another full-size uh, computer system that's going to be able to control everything throughout the coach. This is also going to control your Gerard awning. So with this one, what you want to do is you want to go to the channel, whichever ch channel you want, one, two, and three. One and two is going to be your, one is your front, two is your rear, three is all of them. Uh, you can control that from here. You also have your slide controls right here. You also have your exterior LED lights. You want to keep the exterior entry step on. Your Wi-Fi router control is here. There's your Wi-Fi router. Usually takes about 30 minutes to set up the Wi-Fi router. The solar panel charger, it is all pre-wired and set up. You do have four sun-free solar panels up on the roof. This is your wine guard uh, Wi-Fi system. I'm going to close up the driver's side awning. This is the window awning, and I'm also going to close up the passenger side window awnings. If you look right behind you, you can see that going up. Nice if you don't want to get outside to do that. Power awnings are really a benefit. And then this one, I'm doing the passenger, or the passenger side here. You never want to forget your awnings so that when you go down the road, you've got it all set up. I'm going to pull up my privacy uh, shades here. This is going to be for the main one. Now I do have my day shades down still, and those are going to, the controls are going to be down here on the dash. When you when your ignition is on, it will only let it come down to about head height, so it doesn't obstruct your vision going down the road. On the TVs all around, they are adjustable. You also have right underneath the Samsung button is the power switch to turn them on. All right. Sitting in the driver's seat, there's a lot of little, little features and changes. Uh, I'm going to pull up these visors. Twenty twenty three has made some changes to the steering column. It's got nine adjustable features on the steering wheel. So with the smart key, you 
you've got your starting mechanism. It's nice that it's a smart key system. So if you're walking around the, the outside of the coach, you can actually unlock your bay doors or you can lock the vehicle itself. You can also lock the bay doors from this button. A couple of different keys come on the key ring. You got one for the door, one for the uh, compartments, and also more compartment storage. You got your HWH automatic leveling system over here. There's a manual dump so you can actually uh, release your air to your air system, bringing the coach down a little bit lower. Your Allison six-speed transmission. Here's your tag dump also. If you put it in auto and you put it in reverse, it's gonna, re it's gonna do an automatic tag dump and it's also gonna eliminate scrub on your rear wheels when you're backing in into spots. Have an engine brake. I like to keep it in the on position. You have three different adjustments up here on the dash, up on the steering column. Nice thing about t uh, the uh, engine brake is when you're driving through traffic, you basically just let off of your accelerator and your exhaust brake will slow everything down for you. You can control the high, medium, low right here on the engine brake. So this will keep it on or off. This is going to adjust higher, medium, or low. It comes down to personal preference, but I like to keep it on high. A couple of different, different setups here. There's a little foot pedal over here. I'm going to remove, release that so I can, you can see different things around here. You have automatic lights. You have your, your fog lamps. You can have bright or dim. You have a dome light, which is up above us. You have your, your auto high beams. You can turn those off or you can resume the on and off switch. Power mirrors, left and right, middle is off. This is how you adjust your mirrors. You have your brake controller. It's the Kurt brake controller system. So you can actually adjust it to the sensitivity while you're driving down the highway. Now I've got my foot on the brake. This is your parking brake. Setting it puts it in place. This little red button down here is going to be your uh, mirror defrost. All right, I'm going to adjust this also. Now, along the side of the the seats of the steering column here, you have your effort for your steering. This is for your comfort steer. When you're driving in in the in windy situations. Sometimes you want to adjust the stiffness of the steering wheel as far as resistance or not much resistance. You can adjust that lever just by this little button right here, and you can adjust it whether the higher number is going to bring it to uh, a stiffer setting, a lower number is going to bring it to a less, re more, re more play on the steering wheel. You also have adjustment on your steering pedals. If you take a look down there, you can bring them forward or backward. Going through your home buttons, you've got your. Let me see what I've got here. Got your adjustable controls. You can actually go through all, everything that you see here. It tells you any of your safety features that you would have set up, whether they're on or off. It's going to turn on your front fans. Overhead fans. This is a control, high, medium, low. Now your docking lights are gonna be your lights along the side of the coach. So when you're parking at night and you're backing into different spots or pulling into different spots while you're camping, it's nice to be able to see if there's any posts or anything that are gonna be lit up on your cameras. Courtesy lights. You can start your generator from the inside. Let's see what we got here. All right. Nice unique feature on the Numar is going to be the Nav and Go system. If you enter in your um, your destination, it'll actually choose the safest route to get there without having to worry about going under overpasses that aren't tall enough. Uh, if you go through 
the menu here. It'll tell you different things as far as uh, controls. Um, you've got your camera controls. You can see your different views right here. You can adjust based on what camera you've got. Nice little setup with that. You can also pair Bluetooth to it so you can run Pandora through your coach. You got air, con air conditioner controls. Additional storage compartments. There. There we go. If you look at the passenger side, it's the queen size seat. What they did was they made extra wide. A uh, nice thing about that is if you're traveling with a pet and say you just want to sit with them, you also have the ability to keep them from, uh, from falling into the step well by putting a step cover up. And you can support all your weight on that. So if kids or, or puppies or cats or whatever, they don't fall into that step well while you're driving down the road. You have a nice grab handle on there to climb in and out. Grab handle to climb in and out. All right, so we've got the patio light. I've got the visor. This is going to be a screen for the window. Got the ceiling lights. And you also have a map light. This controller over here, this is unique to the passenger. And the reason why it's unique to the passenger is not always does the driver want to navigate. Usually the driver just, driver just takes care of driving and the passenger navigates. I'm sure you remember that movie. All right, so you drive carefully, you accept your driving controls. You can actually control the navigation from the passenger side as well. This little guy here, it's a table when you're cruising down the highway, got a place for your drink. If you look on both sides of the steering column, of the, you, on one side you have a cordless phone charger. You have one also on the other side of the driver as well. It's right up on top of the, the dashboard there. But it folds down and out of the way. Well, that's about all I can show you today on the 2023 Newmar London Air 4521. Again, my name is Nathan Clark. My phone number is 719-660-3566. The stock number we're looking at today is 5N220606. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, please give me a call if you have any questions.